Hi friends, welcome to our channel, Study of Mathematics. The straight line, 3.9.2 example. Problem is, find the perpendicular distance from the point minus 3 comma 4 to the straight line 5x minus 12y equal to 2. This is our given problem. In this problem solution, we have to find the perpendicular distance from the point minus 3 comma 4 to the straight line equation. Now we will solve the problem. Solution. Given straight line equation is 5x minus 12y equal to 2. From this 5x minus 12y minus 2 equal to 0. This is equation number 1. Compare the above equation with ax plus by plus c equal to 0, then a equal to 5, comma b equal to minus 12 and c equal to minus 2. And point p of x0, comma y0 equal to minus 3, comma 4. Then we know that the formula, the length of the perpendicular from the point p of x0, comma y0 to the line 1 is that is equal to mod ax0 plus by0 plus c by square root of a square plus b square. Here we, up, we substitute the values a, b, c and x0, y0. Then that is equal to mod mod less 5 into minus 3 minus 12 into 4 minus 2 by square root of 5 square plus minus 12 whole square. Then that is equal to mod minus 15 minus 48 minus 2 by square root of 25 plus 144. Then that is equal to mod minus 65 by square root of 169. We know the value square root 169 is 13 square. Then that is equal to 65 by square root of 13 whole square then square and root get cancelled that is equal to 65 by 13 after cancellation that is equal to 5 therefore the perpendicular distance from the point p to the line 1 is 5 this is our required problem solution the straight line 3.10.2 example problem is find the distance between the parallel straight line equations 3x plus 4y minus 3 equal to 0 and 6x plus 8y minus 1 equal to 0. This is our given problem. In this problem solution, we have to find the distance between the given parallel lines. Now we will solve the problem solution. Solution Given straight line equations are 3x plus 4y minus 3 equal to 0. This is equation number 1. 6x plus 8y minus 1 equal to 0. This is equation number 2. Now we will find the distance between the given parallel lines 1 and 2. The formula is the distance between the two parallel lines is mod c1 minus c2 by square root of a square plus b square. But for applying this formula, we have the given two equations, x and y coefficients are same values, that is equal values. But in this problem, the equations 1 and 2, in the equations 1 and 2, the coefficients of x and y are in proportional, but they are not in equal for that, we convert these two x and y coefficient terms are in equal. For that, we have to multiply the first equation with number 2. Then it will convert the x and y coefficient becomes equal. Then multiply the equation 1 with then 1 implies 
2 into 3x plus 4y minus 3 equal to 0. From this, 6x plus 8y minus 6 equal to 0. This is equation number 3. If we find the length of the par par parallel distance between 1 and 2 is same as the find out the distance between the parallel lines 2 and 3 is equal. Then compare the equation 3 with the ax plus by plus c1 equal to 0 and equation 2 with ax plus by plus c2 equal to 0. Then a equal to 6, b equal to 8, c1 equal to minus 6 and c2 equal to minus 1. The distance between the two parallel lines is equal to mod c1 minus c2 by square root of a square plus b square. Here we substitute the values then that is equal to mod minus 6 plus 1 by square root of 6 square plus 8 square. That is equal to mod minus 5 by square root of 36 plus 64 that is equal to 5 by root 100. Root 100 value is 10 that is equal to 5 by 10 then this is equal to 1 by 2 therefore the distance between the given two parallel lines is 1 by 2 this is our required problem solution the straight line 3.10.4 example the problem is find the foot of the perpendicular from minus 1 comma 3 on the straight line 5x minus y minus 18 equal to 0. This is our given problem. In this problem we have to find the foot of the perpendicular from the given point to the straight line. This can be find by using the condition proved in the theorem 3.10.3. That is foot of the perpendicular theorem. Now we will solve the problem. Solution. Given straight line equation is 5x minus y minus 18 equal to 0. This is equation number 1. Point P of x1 comma y1 equal to minus 1 comma 3. Compare equation 1 with ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Then a equal to 5 comma b equal to minus 1 and c equal to minus 18. Let small h comma k be the foot of the perpendicular from p to the line 1. Then the condition is h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c by a square plus b square. Here we substitute the values x1, y1, a, b, c. Then h plus 1 by 5 equal to k minus 3 by minus 1 equal to minus of 5 into minus 1 minus 1 into 3 minus 18 by 5 square plus minus 1 whole square. Then h plus 1 by 5 equal to k minus 3 by minus 1 equal to minus of minus 5 minus 3 minus 18 by 25 plus 1. After calculation h plus 1 by 5 equal to k minus 3 by minus 1 equal to minus of minus 26 by 26. From this h plus 1 by 5 equal to k minus 3 by minus 1 that equal to 26 by 26. Then h plus 1 by 5 equal to k minus 3 by minus 1 that is equal to 1. From this we have h plus 1 by 5 equal to 1. Then h plus 1 equal to 5. Finally h equal to 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4. And k minus 3 by minus 1 equal to 1. Then k minus 3 equal to minus 1. k equal to minus 1 plus 3. Finally k equal to 2. Therefore, the foot of the perpendicular h, k equal to 4, 2. This is our required problem solution. The straight line 3.10.6 
example find the image of 1 comma minus 2 with respect to the straight line 2x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 this is our given problem in this problem we have to find the image of the given point with respect to the line by using the theorem 3.10.5 statement now we will solve the problem solution given straight line equation is 2x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0 this is equation number 1 and point p of x1 comma y1 equal to 1 comma minus 2 compare the equation 1 with ax plus by plus c equal to 0 then a equal to 2 b equal to minus 3 and c equal to 5 let h comma k be the image of the point p with respect to the line 1 then formula is h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus 2 into ax1 plus by1 plus c by a square plus b square here we substitute x1 y1 a b c values then h minus 1 by 2 equal to k plus 2 by minus 3 equal to minus 2 into 2 into 1 minus 3 into minus 2 plus 5 by 2 square plus minus 3 whole square h minus 1 by 2 equal to k plus 2 by minus 3 that is equal to minus 2 into 2 plus 6 plus 5 by 4 plus 9 then from this h minus 1 by 2 equal to k plus 2 by minus 3 that is equal to minus 2 into 13 by 13 here 13 13 get cancelled then the equation becomes h minus 1 by 2 equal to k plus 2 by minus 3 that is equal to minus 2 from this h minus 1 by 2 equal to minus 2 h minus 1 equal to minus 4 h equal to minus 4 plus 1 finally h equal to minus 3 and k plus 2 by minus 3 equal to minus 2 k plus 2 equal to 6 k equal to 6 minus 2 then k equal to 4 therefore the image of p with respect to the line 1 is h comma k equal to minus 3 comma 4 this is our required problem solution Thanks for watching our video. For more videos, please like, share, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.